Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. Here in this video, let's understand a full ladder design in Verilog in a data flow modeling style. And also further, let us understand how to design full ladder using two half order modules in Verilog. You can see the block diagram of full ladder. It takes three inputs. They are single bit A, B, C in our one bit variables. And the full ladder gives the output after adding those three. That's why sum and carry are the outputs. You can see in the truth table, I have listed all the possible inputs for A, B, C in and the generation of sum and carry. Sum will be one in these four cases and also carry will be one in these four cases. So carry and sum both are one when the input is one, one, one. It means if you add in decimal, one plus one plus one is three. So the representation of three requires two bit. So sum and carry takes one, one. So that is how full ladder works. To get the expression for carry and sum, we can use kmap method for simplification and get the simplified expression for carry and sum. So the carry is a into b plus b into c in plus a into c in and sum is a plus of b plus of c in. It means xr of all the three inputs gives you sum. So now using these two expressions, we can write the code in Verilog for the full ladder design using data flow description. As we know in the data flow description, we are going to use assign keyword. So assign keyword gives the meaning that the expression what we have a xrb xrc in will be computed and assigned to sum. Similarly, carry will be calculated in this expression and then it will be assigned to carry. That's why here assign is used with the expressions. So as come to the very lock code line by line, module full ladder, full ladder is the name, A, B, C in sum carry are the input output ports here and input output declarations you can see in these two lines. And assign sum is equal to A, X, R, B, X, R operator I am using here in between A, B, C in and assign carry, we need to use and operator and R operator. So this is the Verilog code in data flow modeling for full adder. Now let us see the full adder design using two half adders. So for designing a full adder, we require two half adders and one R gate. First half adder takes AB as input and it will generate the intermediate sum as well as intermediate carry. The second full adder will take a input sum one from the previous full adder and the third input C in as input to the second half order. This second half order generates the sum as well as intermediate carry 2. The two half orders carry need to be taken into the R gate and that R gate gives the final carry. So this requires a half order design first. We need to design a half order. Here half order design is written using data flow description again. Carry is equal to A and B, sum is equal to A X R B. By using this half order module, using the structural modeling style, we can write the code for full ladder. You can see module full ladder, sum, carry, A, B, C in are the inputs. And half adder is the module name which I am using here. You can see here the figure, this white complete box indicating a full ladder, where in the full ladder itself, it is having two half adders and R gate. So the code also says that one half adder with name H0, other half adder with name H1. Please refer this H1 as H0 and H2 in the diagram as H1. And these two are the part of this full ladder. So half adder design here that we are instantiating here. And half adder H0. And in the half adder you can see sum carry AB is written. So in place of sum, it is generating sum1. But sum1 is not a part of the ports list here. That's why a connection between the half order 1 and half order 2 through a sum, but that is the output of the half order. So we need to declare the connection wires as wire in Verilog. Wire sum1 to connect this half order to half order. So in the half order, you can see first variable is sum. I am using sum1 here that corresponds to the output of half order. So the second half order will generate uh, carry2 and sum. So carry to carry one also not there as ports. So I am connecting through the wire. I am declaring these as wires. And finally we are getting sum one 
carry 1, carry 2 and sum as results. This sum will be the final sum. But carry 1, carry 2, we need to take to the R gate. Here I am using R gate primitive very, uh, available in Verilog. R, O1 is the instance name. Carry is the output. And these two are the inputs for R gate. Carry 1, carry 2. Uh, this carry 1, carry 2 generated by the respective half adders. And end module. So this completes the structural modeling of full adder uh, that uses two half adders. Let us simulate this and understand how actually the code works. For that we require a test bench. So to give the input values to our design, we can write the test bench. So test bench will be the top module. So it consists of our uh, full adder module inside. So this is the test bench module. Here you can see I have using full ladder instance and I am connected all the uh, register and wires of test bench to the full ladder over here. Dot sum, this SUM sum corresponds to the design code port that is connected to the wire of test bench sum. Similarly, dot carry representing the full ladder port and this carry representing wire. So this is how we need to map these wire and register to the full ladder ports. Then in the initial begin block, we can give different values for A, B, C in, uh, for the inputs. With delay, I am changing the values. You can see 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 after 10 time minutes. After next 10 time minutes, 1, 0, 1. After 10 time minutes, 1, 1, 1 are given here. And I am using a monitor statement here to get the uh, prints out of these and also the sum and carry. Now let us simulate this in ADI playground and see the result. Here I have my full adder test bench code and this is my half adder using full adder code. The first half you can see the half adder and this is my full adder design using two half adders. The same code I have used in the um, EDA playground here which I have explained uh, so far. And here the extra two lines dumping file dump.vcd it requires here in uh, EDA playground to get the waveform. So let us run this now. You can see the log generated because of my uh, monitor statement. You can see this first it will give you the time time zero a will be equal to percentage B. This percentage B means it will fetch the value of a it is zero. Similarly next B I am displaying C in some carry. So these are the values. When A, B, C are 0, sum 0, carry 0. When A, B, C, N is 1, 0, 1, sum is 1, carry 0. Similarly, A1, B1, C1, sum 0, carry 1. When all the three inputs are 1, 1, sum 1 and carry 1. So, the waveform is generated accordingly. So, you can see the different values for all 0. And this is for 0, 1, 0. This is 0, 0, 1. And all the three inputs are 1. This is the simulation of our full ladder using two half adders design. That is the end of this video. For more videos like this, you can subscribe to Explore Electronics and Explore Electronics Plus. Thank you.